Hey, what's going on everybody? I am Rob with The Curated Culture and this is the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5G. The Z Flip 5G is a modest update over last year's Galaxy Z Flip. Uh, the biggest addition is a little bit of a new and improved design, a much improved hinge, and of course, 5G connectivity. Now, what makes this phone that much better? Well, for starters, Samsung bumped up the processing capability, give you a slightly sharper display, and again, added 5G connectivity. So data speeds, as a result, should be a lot zippier on this phone. Now the main design of this phone sports a combination of glass, plastic, and aluminum around the frame of the housing, uh, which makes it both lightweight and surprisingly solid at the same time. Like it's, it's not too chunky, it's not too heavy. There's a certain heft to it, and that usually means that Samsung put a lot into the actual design of the phone to make sure that it can withstand your everyday use and abuse. Now perhaps one of my favorite things about the phone is the screen itself. This is a 6.7 inch Samsung Infinity Flex display. And as you can tell from the camera angle itself there, it actually looks great. Colors are very vibrant, very robust. When you're watching videos or playing games on there, it looks absolutely amazing. One of the drawbacks to this screen though, because it folds and because it's a flip style phone, right in the middle there, there's this lovely little crease. And that crease itself, you can feel every single time you go to use a phone, whether it's scrolling, whether it's swiping, whether it's texting, anything like that, you can kind of feel that crease. It's a little annoying, but it's not 100% a deal breaker. Another cool design element behind the Galaxy Z Flip 5G is the actual hinge itself. Now, with things like the Galaxy Fold from last year and of course the original Z Flip, Samsung caught a lot of flack behind the hinges because in the original design, they led way to a lot of dirt and debris getting trapped in between the hinge and the display. And as we all know, people didn't like that. Uh, you could actually get things trapped underneath and it would end up ruining the display and in some cases completely damaging it. Samsung reworked the hinge on there to allow for a much more usable, much more enjoyable experience. Uh, they actually have a little filter on the inside that kind of pushes debris and dirt away from the display so that you can continue to enjoy your phone as much as possible. And one of the coolest things about the Z Flip in particular is the hinge itself allows you to use the phone in almost any orientation. So you don't have to worry about the hinge itself basically slapping closed every single time that you go to open it, with the exception of when you first flip it up. Now another cool thing about this phone in particular is right on the front of the device is this neat little mini display. And that mini display can show you your time, of course, but it also allows you to use your notifications. Now the neat thing about this mini display is in addition to you being able to see the time on there, you can also scroll through your notifications. So with just a quick little tap, on the front of the screen, it shows you your text messages, it shows you your emails, it shows you all different types of alerts, and essentially allows you the ability to be able to check what's going on on your phone without having to physically open it. It's a pretty useful feature, but I also found it kind of clumsy to use. Um, sometimes I would mean to scroll up to get to the next text or the next email, and it would just stay put. Other times I would tap on an icon to get to email, and it would open the text messaging. So it's not as accurate as you would want it to be, but still a good novel idea. Functionality would probably be a little bit better with a slight update, some small tweaks. As of right now though, still a pretty useful feature. Now, as for the hardware inside this bad double, it packs a whopping eight gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage, which means eh, you probably won't run out of memory anytime soon. The most disappointing aspect of the rest of the hardware features is the fact that this guy has two different batteries on the inside that combine for 3300 milliamp hours. A 3300 milliamp hour battery in a lesser smartphone would probably be a whole lot better, but with this one in particular, with everything that it has the capability of doing, highlighting the dual displays, notifications, gaming, the processor, 
Everything that you have in this phone, 3,300 milliamp hours seems a bit light. And in my usage, it actually turned out to be just that. I found myself having to plug it in after usually about four or five hour screen on time. Whereas on my Pixel 4 XL and then especially on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, uh, I was able to power through almost a full day on a single charge. So battery definitely is not going to be a strong point on the Z Flip 5G. Now when it comes to something that Samsung is actually really good at, this phone does surprisingly well. Sort of. So in the back, you actually have a dual 12 megapixel camera set up here. One is a standard lens, the other one is an ultra wide lens. And then of course, up front, you have a 10 megapixel selfie camera. Now the main cameras worked very, very well and took pretty stellar photos when I used them, of course. The front facing selfie camera though, left a little bit to be desired. Especially if you're shooting in direct sunlight or in bright environments, it would end up leaving your photos kind of blown out, almost oversaturated with sunlight, in which case you're gonna need really good photo editing software or most likely you're gonna end up propping the camera up with the hinge half open just so you can use one of the better rear cameras. The camera software is pretty sweet and it greatly benefits from some of Samsung's spotlight features like single take or their excellent pro mode in the camera itself. Pro mode, I found myself digging around with more than just the manual camera just because I was able to really, really fine tune any kind of photos that I decided to take. The video camera is also pretty solid and recording in standard 1080p HD or especially when I bumped it up to 4K was an absolute blast. Uh, 60 frames per second looked fantastic on this phone and I would probably put it right up there in terms of overall quality with something like the iPhone. It recorded very good video. So while the front facing camera can be a little bit of a disaster at times, the two main cameras actually performed very well and it definitely is one of Samsung's better photo sensors. All in all, I think the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip is a pretty solid phone. Are there better options out there for the cost? Probably so. You can pick up the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip right now from samsung.com for $14.99. Yes, $1,500 or you can hook it up on their uh, installment option, which seems to be the way that most people are going nowadays. Thank you guys so very much for watching this video. If you liked it, go ahead and give your boy a thumbs up. Let me know that you like it. Let me know what you think about the Samsung Z Flip in the comments down below. Is this the phone for you? Or is it something that you'll pass on? Let me know. Also, make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel and turn on the bell icon so that you get notified every single time that I upload. Yeah, every single time. It'll work. Follow along over at thecuratedculture.com and as always, follow me over on social media via at Robbie Diesel on the Facebook, on the Instagrams, on the Snapchats, the whole shot. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.